Does Lori Markinen want out from the Chicago Bulls? That is the question. What is going on, y'all? Five Sports Talk. Back at it with another video talking, of course, some NBA here to talk about the Bulls. So if you're a Bulls fan, welcome. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe uh, by hitting the big red subscribe button down below. Turn on my post notifications. You don't want to miss out. Dropping a lot of content on the channel and follow me on all my social media handles to stay updated with the latest news and my reactions. So go ahead and do so. With that being said, here to talk about this rumor, because it is a rumor, and the potential of it actually being true. So where's it coming from? Is it true? Everything else in between, let's get into it. So this rumor comes from the Chicago Sun-Times, so it's not getting pulled out of thin air, sort of a credible rumor here. And so it basically talks about the story, it talks about Lori Markkinen being unhappy with the direction of the Bulls that includes... Basically, the front office and the management. And if things don't change quickly, then Lori Markkinen wants out. Okay? And here's where I'm at on this. Is it true? I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. And here's why. Lori Markkinen went from one of the most promising players, young players in this league, certainly one of the most promising big men, to... Um, should we trade Lori from literally, I can't even say full season because obviously the season came to an abrupt stop, but basically three fourths of a season because Lori Markkinen was supposed to ascend and take that next step into essentially stardom. I mean, he was on the cusp of it last year. We thought, you know, he's certainly there. He could be an all-star. So this year he was supposed to take that step into becoming an all-star. And what happens not only does Lori plateau, oh, he nosedived, okay? The production just, he, and he had gotten off to a solid start in the season, in the early part of the season, and then just was absolutely god-awful. Now, in Lori's defense, it was not his all his fault. Certainly, I'll say a lot of it was not his fault because this, again, goes back to the head coach, Jim Boylan. And the management for not putting Lori Markkinen in the right position to succeed. Okay? Lori Markkinen was literally used by Jim Boylan as a spot-up shooter. Okay? That is what he was relegated to. He didn't know how to use Lori. He didn't know how Lori likes to get to a spot. It was literally a driving kick offense with Zach Levine taking all the jump shots and basically all the shots. And then later on in the season, Kobe White... And Lori just standing in the corner waiting for his turn to shoot the ball. So literally, and we know Lori, Lori can shoot, obviously. I'm not saying he shouldn't be shooting threes, but that is all he was relegated to. And what did that result in? A consistent drop across his entire production. So much so that this is how bad it was, okay? We've got his stats from last year, okay, in 2018-2019 season. When I told you he was on the up and up to becoming an all-star, almost 19-9 and nine a game on 43% shooting, 36 from three, and 87% free throw shooting. This year, or this past season, not even to literally 15 points a game, barely there, 14.7, so literally four-point drop-off, 6.3 rounds. Folks, these are not like small drop-offs. These are drastic. You go from nine rebounds to 6.3 a game. That is drastic. The points is drastic. Field goal percentage, again, dropped a little bit. Not that much. Three-point percentage dropped a little bit too, okay? And then free throw percentage dropped as well. I mean, that is surprising to me as well. But the biggest one here is the points and the rebounds. And that is a direct correlation to the Bulls not putting Lori Markkinen in the right position to succeed. And this is why Lori Markkinen is unhappy. And I don't blame him one bit. But I will say this now. This actually, now that I think about it, might have been the reason why the Bulls cracked. And what I mean when I say the Bulls cracked, I mean they finally decided it's time to change direction by moving on from Garn Pax, even though they didn't fire him, they did reassign them again. It's time to move on from the old management and try to go in a new direction because they kept hearing the complaints. You know, and again, this is Lori, but we've heard other players, you know, we've seen the frustrations from Zach. 
We've seen some other players, Denzel Valentine. Like, there's been guys chirping, saying they're not happy. And you know what? Sometimes when it's role players and whatnot, it doesn't really resonate. But when your stars or your supposed stars do it, oh, you better believe management knows. Now, as far as Lori wanting out and him actually leaving, folks, with the way the NBA uh, contracts work, it's very difficult right now for Laurie Markkinen to leave on his own. He he really can't, okay? He's in the third year, okay? And the Bulls are certainly going to pick up his qualifying offer. And then he becomes a restricted free agent, which means that the Bulls can match any offer for him by any other team. So Laurie Markkinen, give her, without his a choice, is on the Bulls for four more years. So seven years, basically. So he doesn't really have a choice. Now, again, when a player is unhappy, yes, you technically do trade him, but he would literally have to say, hey, come go ahead and trade me. I don't want to be here. So it's not going to be a lawyer is going to leave as a free agent. No, that's not going to happen because, again, like I said, with the way the NBA contract works, the Bulls are just going to uh, match the qualifying offer and they'll you know match any offer for Lori. Um, and he'll become a restricted free agent. So I'm not worried about that. But what I am worried about is the culture uh, change of him being unhappy and so this is good because this has forced the Bulls now to look at changing the culture that is what they're doing I'm glad this happened I'm actually glad Lori spoke up and said he was unhappy because this is what might have sparked uh, the Reinsdorfs to go ahead and and move on from guard packs and look for new management Okay, this might have been it. We've been trying to figure out, you know, why wait so long. This might have been the tipping point. So let me know what you guys think about Lori Markkinen being unhappy. Uh, do you think this is the reason why, um, you know, the Bulls ownership basically started looking uh, for new management? Or do you have another reason? Let me know down in the comment section below if you agree or disagree. As always, thanks for watching.